This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 4th of February. James Spann here. It is raining seemingly all over the world. Not really, but raining over just about every square inch of Alabama. Let's go right to the Skycam shots, and uh, I guarantee you it's wet. That's our Clanton Skycam down in Chilton County. A steady rain falling there. Rain on the Alabama Gulf Coast. That's from the uh, Phoenix All Suites looking back to off to the uh, west. And in Shelby County, that's our sky cam on the campus of the University of Montevallo. A very familiar scene there. Now, there's our storm, a very impressive one at that. We get the rain. Our friends up north get the snow. This could be a snowstorm of historic proportion, maybe for cities like Washington, Baltimore, and Philadelphia. They are battening down the hatches. It's a cool rain. Really, uh, temperatures not having a chance to get up in the 50s today. The rain started early. Uh, Birmingham at 46, Tuscaloosa 48, Gadsden only at 43 with that light rain falling. The only city above 50 is Montgomery at 51 at 2 o'clock. And yeah, buddy, it's raining. And uh, you can see uh, you can drive from uh, Birmingham down uh, Interstate 20 to Meridian and Jackson and Monroe. And you really almost have to go to Dallas to get totally out of that rain. So obviously it's going to be a very wet night tonight. Uh, there's the local radar at 210, and it's uh, it's the good kind of rain. No severe weather, no flooding, really, just uh, steady soaking rain. We'll have that tonight and then uh, off and on some tomorrow. Here's your watch warning map. We've got flash flood watches in effect across uh, the southern part of Louisiana, or, uh, Mississippi, and Alabama, almost all of Georgia. And then you go up north, you get into the winter weather problems up into uh, parts of the Carolinas, uh, Virginia, Maryland, and look at the blizzard warning for Atlantic City, New Jersey. Oh, boy. And uh, winter storm warnings up for uh, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, and winter weather advisories for the nation's heartland. Uh, there's the QPF chart, the expected rain over the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock. So this is all of the, or 6 o'clock. This is all the rain we're getting with this system and part of the rain with that system early next week. And the bullseye is near Mobile with three and a half inches. And that's suggesting rainfall amounts up here will be two and a half inches. So uh, the parade of storms will continue. There's your day two snow outlook. This is tomorrow. This is the big snow day up north. Indianapolis, Cincinnati, over to Washington, Baltimore, uh, Philadelphia, it's going to be, again, a big one. They'll be measuring snow up there in terms of feet and not inches. And icing problems, that's a freezing rain or ice accumulation graphic for tomorrow. Problems showing up there uh, over uh, parts of uh, the Carolinas and Virginia. So if you're traveling up that way, good luck. It's going to be a big mess. And there's a look at the uh, NAM snow accumulation graphic uh, for this uh, storm, valid through Sunday evening. And Again, the bullseye is centered right around the District of Columbia. And again, that's up there in that 20-inch range. So some folks up there might wind up with two feet of snow, and that's about how much uh, parts of the Birmingham Metro got during the great blizzard of 93. All right, here's the uh, 12Z GFS. This is at uh, noon tomorrow, noon Friday. There's your trough. There's your rain. Surface low tomorrow. Near Bainbridge, Georgia, the heaviest rain uh, should move east of the state tomorrow, but we'll be in the wraparound moisture, so we'll mention a chance of occasional light rain or drizzle tomorrow. Saturday, the big storm bombs out just off the uh, middle Atlantic coast, and you can see why there's a blizzard warning for some of those coastal communities over there, uh, Jersey and uh, down into Maryland and Delaware. And uh, the big snowstorm will be winding down Saturday afternoon over the District of Columbia and Baltimore, but Goodness, they'll be buried. And notice around here, the uh, wraparound moisture, it looks like a cloudy day, a cool day, a breezy day, maybe some light rain or, a, or some drizzle early in the day, and uh, even a chance of snow flurries up in Tennessee, but uh, basically just kind of a cloudy and raw day. And then Sunday, the sun comes back out in full force. Uh, should be sunny with a high in the upper 40s. And Monday of next week, here comes our next impulse as the parade of storms rolls along. Let's look at Monday night. Uh, that's showing rain over the northern half of the state. And then by Tuesday, the rain begins to diminish. So uh, maybe Monday night into Tuesday, uh, another little rain event. Probably not as much rain as this one. We figure amounts will be closer to one-half inch with that. And again, the model consistent now in that the uh, atmosphere should be warm enough for all rain with that and no snow. 
Wednesday, cold air advection kicks in. This is Wednesday of next week, the uh, 10th. And uh, a week from today, Thursday, the cold air gets deeper. And here comes that next impulse. Look out now. Uh, snowing in Little Rock and Shreveport and Oklahoma City. And uh, it's kind of sliding this way. But really, the following day, the, the model just kind of shunts it off to the east and, and to the south, and it doesn't really impact us. The, uh, the, the model madness is, is extreme, as you might expect in something like that. But again, the idea of a significant storm at the end of next week is very real and also a very real chance, I think, of some folks around here getting snow or ice. It might be Tennessee or Arkansas again, maybe farther south. We'll see. Obviously, no skill in identifying something that far in advance. That's uh, eight days out. Uh, on the 15th, here comes the next trough. Another big wet down, major snowstorm, if that's right, for uh, St. Louis and uh, Indianapolis and Chicago, but obviously no skill in being specific. And at the end of the forecast on the 20th, the flow goes more zonal. And again, that looks awfully unsettled. So uh, you can clearly see the month will be very interesting to watch the weather around here, which is usually the case in February. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We will have notes on our blog, alabamawx.com, if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.